Hello everybody, it's Mystic and welcome back to my library. This is episode two of Let's Play, I almost said Zoo Tycoon again. <laughs> Let's play Planet Zoo franchise mode. And in the last episode, we just started things up and we uh, we got a leucistic male peafowl for one uh, conservation credit on the animal market board, which was pretty amazing. He's so gorgeous. I'm not gonna stop talking about him like ever. And uh, yeah, we also adopted some bongos and basically just kind of started getting things going here. This is a very small zoo still. I did have to take out a loan only because uh, yeah, we're a little low on cash at the moment, but that's okay. Things will get better. Uh, one thing I do want to do this time is I want to get some um, exhibits going. By the way, I also went through and downloaded some really awesome looking things on the, um, whatchamacallit, the workshop. And I'm excited to put those into my zoo at some point. Like I said, I'm not the greatest builder, so for me to be able to download other people's stuff, super helpful because, yeah, I just, I just can't. I can't make things as nice as some people can, right? So we can't, all right, how about we put, I could put the exhibit over there or I could put it over here. I don't know if I wanna have it near that toilets though. Probably doesn't matter. I mean, just to start things off, let's just get maybe two. And I always forget that these things can stack on top of each other. That's pretty nice. And then we just need to get some educational mahoozits. I'm so good with words, right? I have a I have a way with words, I know. Okay, and we just have to figure out what we're buying. What do we want to buy? I I mean I really like snakes. Um I, I would love to have one as a pet one day. I don't at the moment. I just have my dog, but I really like snakes. I always have. So I'm considering a snake. The only one I don't want to get are the puff adders because those things breed like crazy. <laughs> they breed like crazy and they end up like just overwhelming themselves in their habitat or in their exhibit very, very quickly. So I don't know if I want to get puff adders this time, but there are plenty of others. I might go for the boa constrictor because it's fairly reasonably priced in the beginning um so yeah like look at, look at all these puff adders like it's just there's just so many of them we could do a this um yeah they're not too expensive what are these i don't think i've had these yet a diamond back what rattlesnake wait they have rattlesnakes have i not seen them before i knew about the yellow anaconda they don't have any any girls though well, I guess it's okay, because then that means they're not going to breed, like, crazy. Uh, what do we got here? Mm, Javier's not great. Felipe's okay. I kind of want to have one with more longevity. Lower fertility is actually okay, because I don't want to end up with a million animals in one exhibit. So... Let's go with him, actually. All right, Raphael. We'll put you here. And then... I think I might just do snakes for the moment. Let's let's just do snakes. Elena and Diego. Go, Diego, go. Sorry, I'm a mom. My kids used to watch that like crazy. <laughs> they don't anymore, but... I don't want to have two Raphaels. Let's do Pedro. Okay, come on, Pedro. And then, all right, so we got a boa, and I think we had a, what was it, an anaconda? Let me go get a uh, brown snake. These guys also breed like crazy, so I'm going to search for one that's, yeah, this one's probably the best option for Mata. Okay, so then we just have to get their exhibits all taken care of. I got to make sure I have a uh, keeper for them which I mean I guess I could just have 
the bongo keeper take care of them, but I don't want the keeper to be overwhelmed. So maybe I should have a keeper that's just dedicated to the exhibits. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. And by the way, I am recording this literally right after the other episode. So if you have left me messages about, you know, certain things that I've asked questions about, I'm not ignoring the comment, I just haven't seen it yet because I am currently in the past. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's just make another work zone. We'll do that. I think they still need access to the keeper hut. No, that's the research center. Keeper hut? Yeah. I can't, I don't think they need access to the trade center though, because these guys automatically go in and out. So that should be okay. And we'll just call this uh, snake e exhibit. I mean, I might end up with more snake exhibits, but this is the, f the the one that I have right now. And wait, is this my new? Oh, you know what? The bongos don't have. Oops, not caretaker. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, I need another keeper for the bongos. I don't have a keeper for the bongos. So let's make sure we do that too. And we'll go here. And then, uh, yeah, no, not research center, keeper hut and trade center. And then this is bongos. Okay. And then staff, you are going to take bongos. Okay. Now I just have to, oh, what's this? Oh, nice. I could always use more money. <laughs> um, we still have plenty of time for that. I don't, um, I, I, oh, I did end up selling one of my red pandas. The other one I ended up putting back up on the trade center. So he's, he went back up and then we're going to keep, um, oh, 10. He's pretty young, right? I'm going to grab him. Darn it. I figured that was going to happen. I got to really keep an eye on it because if I can get one for under a thousand, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. But anyway, um, I did. Oh, those are my gorillas from the other game. Yeah. Omarosa. That's my, that's my other, that's my other zoo. Um, oh, this was the other, for some reason he didn't get released to the wild. I still don't know why I tried. Like, it's sounding like he should have gone. Maybe it's because he's in the Trade Center? I have no idea why he's not going away. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I could quick trade him for money. It means I'm going to lose that conservation credit, but whatever. Oh, okay, so this was the one. Anyway... I was going off on a tangent. I re-put him up on the auction market board, whatever, um, because he did not sell before. And honestly, he may not because the market board is still borked. So it's going to be tough to try and find those mid-range animals right now, only because you can really only find the lowest and the highest if you search by price. I think it's still broken. Let me see. Yeah, it's still broken. So that's probably why he's not selling. But if worse comes to worse, I can just try again later. It just kind of stinks for trying to get some conservation credits right now. Maybe that's why I can't release them to the wild. I wonder if there's like, I wonder if there's something wrong with that whole system right now. Hmm. But anyway, let's, uh, let's fix up stuff here. I can't do anything with that. Uh, his temperature is actually good. He needs a whole lot more humidity. And it looks like it is working on it. Huh. It didn't automatically do that last time. They must have changed it. But now it's too hot. Probably because it increased in humidity. I'm assuming they affect each other just like they do IRL. Oh man, he's so picky about his temperature though. Okay, so that looks okay. He's actually in pretty good shape right now. He just doesn't have a good layout, but... Oh, uh, wait, what is this? Anaconda? Let me name it. Anaconda. Okay, so that's the first guy. And then we got 
Pedro the boa constrictor. Um, just can't do anything there, and he needs to have everything lowered just a smidge. Okay. Should be okay. Now he needs to get down a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, now this isn't affecting him, is it? Because they are in different exhibits. I've never had them this close to each other before. I didn't know if they affected each other, but it looks like it's okay. And then we have the Eastern Brown Snake, who just needs a slightly cooler climate, but is otherwise in pretty good shape at the moment. Oh, I forgot to put down um, donation boxes. Yeah, I need to go down just a smidge more. You snakes are so picky. That might have been too low. Don't move. You stay right there. Okay. I think that's good. I really should get... I really should get another vet so I can start researching all of this, but I have to be careful with how much money I'm using right now. Okay, let's get... Guest facilities. I need this. Um, I guess let's put it to the side. I just don't... Hmm. Actually, maybe we'll do it like this. I just don't want it blocking the view. So we'll go like that. I just hope that one's not too far away. It should be okay, but God... <laughs> the guests can be so picky. I mean, I guess, you know, if you're spending your hard-earned money, you want to make sure it works. Speaking of, I forgot to buy an ATM, which is always helpful in the beginning. Or, well, any time, really. Your guests are going to need to have access to their money. Okay, so that's all good. I do need to fix the layout, but I'll have to get to that at another time. We have 9,000 left. Got our bongos, got our beautiful peacocks, pea fowls, whatever. Uh, I'm working on studying the pea fowl, right? Let me check my vet research. Yes. Once I get a couple of levels in that, I might give this guy a promotion. I should probably get another vet. I just don't want to spend so much of my money all at once. Okay, so there we go. Um, I should get at least one more. Although, no. One should be okay for now. I don't think he's overworked. No, everybody's okay. Wait, right? Oh, no, wait. He's got a high workload. Yeah, no, we need another vet. Okay. So, all right, what was the other vet's work zones? We've got him. He's doing... Okay, he's only in the buildings. So then... Actually, I could keep vet zone one for this other guy, too, at least for now. Although, will they work on the animals if they're not in the work zone? And somebody may have already answered that. But let's just let's just do that because they may not. And I don't I don't wanna not have them working on the animals. Okay. Now I can get another vet working on the bongos. Eventually we'll work on the exhibit animals, but we're gonna have to wait for the moment. Okay. Oh. Uh, I was going to check and see what I got for the peacocks. Peafowl. Okay, cool. We got food enrichment, which will be helpful. Let's put it up near the window, because I know people like watching them. Got that, and... Wait, this pirate thing that I bought is a animal enrichment thing? Shouldn't it be a decoration? <laughs> Why is it there? What? I don't know if that was a mistake. Oh, wait. Excuse me? The bongos are pregnant already? Wait a minute. You guys bred faster than the peafowl? 
When does that ever happen? Did you did you arrive pregnant? I don't remember ever even getting Can they arrive pregnant? They can, right? I wonder if uh I wonder if she was pregnant when I bought her cuz there's no way that this is the father. She has not been pregnant that long. We've barely been open for long enough. Hmm. What? There's a staff room. I'm sure somebody is just taking up all the room. Okay. Khabibi. I don't think that she was related to him. Is there a way to find that out? Well, I guess I can find out once she's an adult. There's just no way. Are you guys going to breed? I want me some lu leucistic peafowl. More of them, anyway. I think they just did. Yep. Sweet. I just, I remembered, I, I made myself some tea and I kind of forgot to drink it. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. I just realized that the frame rate is not great on OBS. It's probably, it was probably like that last time too. Okay, um, hopefully it's better now. I, I just turned off a couple of side programs that I didn't even realize I still had up it's still dropping frames, but hopefully not so bad, or the frame rate is dropping. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't think it did it in the last episode, but I could be completely wrong. I may have to lower the quality of the game. I'd really prefer not to do that, but I guess I'll see how it goes. By the way, if you get these people, don't forget to say hi to them. It will give you some more conservation credits. And then what else did I get? Habitat species. Okay. What else do we have? Low welfare? Why? What's wrong? Where are you? What? Stress. Trying to hide. Um, yeah, you guys are tough. All right, well, he's behind a tree. Is that helping? This is why I need one-sided glass. Hmm. There's really no other place to hide. I might have to put some more trees or something. Oh! Might I get some, uh, leucistic peafowl? Might I? I'll have to deal with him in a minute. Sorry, we might be having some leucistic babies. I gotta watch. Not that one. Not that one. That's it? Ah, None of them. None of them! I guess I'm gonna have to breed them again. <laughs> Eventually. Oh well. I forgot how annoying the bongos are in the beginning, that they just hate having people look at them. Um, ugh. This is a struggle. I might have to get some more plants in here. Oh no, he's better now. Well, what else is the problem? Now you're having a problem. Oh boy. Alright, let's get some more trees in this in this habitat. Maybe that'll help. Um, okay, so this is what? Tropical Africa. So let's, let's see if we can help these guys out a little bit. Frame rate seems better now, so I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it. I don't know why it was doing that, but I apologize if that was annoying anybody. Oh, that, I forgot how big that tree was. Coastal. I don't have any water. Um, I mean, I could still use it. Ooh, a big tamarind tree. This might help. I put it here. They might complain about that view, but they'll just have to deal. I'm going to just kind of make it so that their beds are a little bit more hidden. That's probably too big. Just put some plants in here. Custard apple tree. 
Maybe put another one on this side. Just get some extra hiding places. Those aren't big enough. Maybe those. Coconut palm? Eh. No. What else can we put in here? Oh, what about just a tree fern? Okay, maybe that'll help. How, how's that? Is that helping you guys? Yes. Okay, so keeping some trees in front of their beds, probably a good idea. How about you? Are you good? You're good. Okay. Excellent. Because I don't want any protesters right in the very beginning here. I have no security guard. You're right, game. I have no security guard. <laughs> I should probably get one of those. Well, let's get a security guard. Okay, security... There, you just meander. I don't typically give a work zone to the security guard. I, I haven't needed to, but I guess we'll see. I really hope I can end up with another leucistic peacock before this one dies. Uh-oh. We don't want any, any peacocks rampaging around. Let's call a mechanic. I'm going to be honest. I don't really care too much. Oh, this one's got such good stats, though. I was going to say I don't care too much about their stats because I'm trying to get a leucistic one, but dang, that female has some really good stats. Like, like really good. Like, I didn't get that until way later in my other zoo. That's nice. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are my exhibits closed? Oh no, it's just the way that I'm looking at them. Okay. Hmm. I really do want to put another exhibit in. And I would really like to get enough to get a gorilla. Let me just check the market board again. I could technically get this one. And she's young. The problem is... I can't afford a male. And the males are, like, usually super pricey. Hmm... It might be better just to wait until I can afford both. Now, I do have gorillas in my other zoo. So I could get myself... Actually, what I could do is I I could... I could just transfer those gorillas to this zoo, couldn't I? I don't know if I want to do that, though. Because I am still going to play that other zoo offline. I just need a little bit more. I'm also going to be selling off some tigers in a day or two in that game. So maybe I should just wait and then try and get them again later. Because the thing is going on until Thursday or Saturday or something. Ooh, we got some more vet research done. What did we get? Some more peafowl stuff. I thought it said that there were two. Oh, no. Never mind. Tickets are underpriced. Well, hey, I'm happy to increase those prices for you. Just a minute. Uh, what am I doing with my life? Here we go. Zoo overview. Let's... I always tend to make adult tickets a little bit more expensive than child tickets. So let's see how that goes. There. Okay. Oh, and I got some peafowl stuff. Maybe prop... No, maybe not. What now? All right, hang on. <laughs> hang on. That's all? Oh, wait, I'm in food. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. What? There's a staff room. What are you talking about? Is it, is it full? Should I get a second one? Oh, yeah, look at everybody just sitting in here watching TV. Should you all be doing that? Don't you have a job to do? Huh? <laughs> Although I guess they do need to rest. I should not be a slave driver. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm so bummed we didn't get a white one. Because look at how beautiful he is. Or do you not see? No, they show up as they show up as leucistic from the very beginning, right? They'd have to. Hmm. 
I don't know. I'm dropping frames again. Sorry. I don't know why it's doing that. Alright, they're looking at the exhibit. Maybe I should... St okay, you know what? We actually have a fair amount of money. Maybe I should start building some other habitat just so that I can get some stuff going. And like I said, I do have some red pandas, so I could put the red pandas in, start breeding them, and then hopefully getting, you know, enough conservation credits for some gorillas because that would definitely be helpful. The other option is to get... I don't know. I'm trying to think of what would be a good buy right now. Actually, you know what? Tigers might be kind of cheap right now. Oh, hey. How old are you? You're young. I'll take it. Yes. Okay. And she's actually halfway decent. So now I just need to get another like 500 conservation credits. And then I'll have enough for another one. Oh, the, uh, the other bongo finally left. <laughs> um, ah, oh, shoot. I wonder if I should just, no, I don't want to release him to the wild. Hmm. All right. Well, I got a gorilla, so let's start getting a gorilla habitat going. Uh, construction. Oh, have I been having... Have I been having these guys work? What am I doing? I need the zoo. What am I doing? He's working on what? Staff facilities? I almost wonder if I should have him do barriers, though. Because that's going to give us a couple of the barriers that we need, I think. Oh, no, wait. We get, we get the brick one automatically. Never mind. I don't need to do that. Okay, so... Yeah, let's set up the gorilla habitat, like, right over here. I might need to get some more power. Oh, wait. Let me see where my power is at the moment. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to need another power generator. At least another one. I'll probably put it, like, over here somewhere. So let's do that first. What the heck? Why are these listed in power generators? Okay. Let's go like, I don't want to have too much overlap, although, oh wait, I just noticed that this one's not on. Well, that should be okay, just like that. Okay. Let's see, I just need to get a path. That, that's really wide. I don't need it to be that wide. There. Okay, so. Habitat barriers. I need a non-climbable. Grade 2 is not going to be okay for a gorilla. So let's, let's use the higher tier one. Oh, and I want it to curve. Because this one can curve and it looks really nice that way. Uh, why is it so big? I want it to curve the other way, but whatever. Although, wait, if I do that, then there's not going to be able to be a path there. So let's not do it that way. Okay. There. still curving, right? Yeah. Uh, I want this to be fairly big. Although, wait, it can't go too close to the transformer either. So let's have it go like this. And I'll just have to keep an eye out to see if I can get a slightly cheaper... How big am I making this <coughs> this thing? That should be a decent size for now. Except I kind of messed up a little bit right there, but that's okay. Let's just get rid of that one. And then I need to get some paths. How big is this? I need, I need a door. 
I have it over there, you could head over there. It doesn't really have to, but that's okay. All right. Hmm. Oh no, it should be okay as long as the path doesn't go that close. Okay. Need this one and we're gonna make it like that. I think eight might be too wide. That's annoying. Can I fix that? <laughs> How do I fix that? I don't want it to be a different color. Oops. There you go. Get us some gorillas. That should bring our money up nice and high. And then can I please fix this? Thank you. Okay. All right. So we got keeper door. How big? Did I check? I don't think so. Oh yeah, that's big. It, it's big enough. I think it needs to be like 700. Let me just double check. Because I could be confusing them with a different animal. It's always possible. Yeah, it's 780, so I kind of I've almost doubled it, not quite, but it should be okay for two. And then I need lots of climbing space. I need um, some trees. And I'm also going to raise, I don't have to do this, at least not for this animal, but I am going to raise this a little bit just, just because they're so big. I feel like it, it's a good idea to do that. Put some glass in. Oh, poop. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. <laughs> I accidentally moved the whole thing. Okay. Hang on. Try again. There we go. I don't know if I want all of it windowed, though. They might freak out. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have one-way glass at the moment. So I'm going to have to just see how they do with this. Okay, so habitat. I'm probably not going to have a great amount of stuff here for them. Species. Western lowland gorilla. Put their food over here. I think I need to get another water thingy. Oh, wait. That's a generator, right? How? Where's the water thingy? I know, my words are gray, aren't they? Oh, heh. <laughs> yeah, I need another water thing. Although I don't actually think... This isn't showing up blue. I don't think I need one for those. I think it's only for, like, lakes and stuff. So we should be okay. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so we got that. I doubt we have enrichment. Yeah, we don't. Well, we don't have any playtime enrichment. Okay. <sighs> That's not going to work. Um, yeah, I would say probably a bigger one. Maybe not like the biggest, but something like this would be good. Okay, and then put some hay, okay, can't do much else in the habitat section, nature. Now from what I remember of my other zoo, gorillas like a lot of trees and stuff, which with which to climb on. So we're tropical Africa again, just like the bongos. I'm gonna get one of these giant trees. And actually something fun that I did, although I don't have a ton of space here. So let's just do one. Uh, no, 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 just one. Let me put a couple of these down. couple of ferns or whatever these are and oh climbing they need climbing stuff can I even get climbing stuff right now <laughs> not a lot um they're not gonna love this
four, four. That that's not gonna make any sense, is it? <laughs> I don't even think that's gonna make any sense. Hmm. If I went like that and then like that. That should work. They don't have any good climbing stuff right now, but unfortunately, my options are a little limited at the moment. Is that gonna even work? Probably not great. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Or actually, can I even look? I can't. All right, well, let's get the gorillas in here and then I can play around with it some more. I'm going to definitely need to add more plants because they do like having plants. And oh, I need to get another zookeeper. I don't know if I need all these zookeepers, but I like being able to have one keeper per exhibit or habitat. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but it's how I've been doing it. I might be wasting some money doing it that way, but... That's how I'm going to do it for now. Keeper hut. Nope. Okay. Gorillas. And then... Okay. Did anybody bring in my gorillas over or am I still suffering with uh, having this not working? Or gorilla, not gorillas. I only have one. Actually, maybe I didn't transfer her yet. Okay, is anybody guys? Somebody's running over. Okay. Got some more peacock research. And oh, well, I was also going to train up that vet. But before I do that, let me see if I can get another gorilla. Somebody got her? Yeah, somebody's got her. There's a whole bunch of females. It's so hard to get a male gorilla for under a thousand. Yikes. Okay. Where is he? He's over here. Somebody new here? Nope, I already said hi to them. What else did we get? Drink profit, zoo reputation. Okay. What? Oh, that's right. I only have one small research center right now. I probably do need another one. Okay. How is everything? Not great. You need way more climbing. I figured. I figured that was going to be a problem. Oh, wait. There's a six meter one. Uh, what if I did that and then now see I wanted to go like this no that's not how I want it to go like this and then uh oh Am I getting... Oh, come on. <laughs> franchise mode, why are you like this? Why are you like this, franchise mode? This has been an issue lately. Keep getting signed off. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess this is probably a good place to stop then. I have saved my zoo, so I'm going to have to work on the habitat next time. I think... Yeah, this was probably a slightly shorter episode, and I apologize for all, the, all of the uh, issues, but hopefully franchise mode... Yes, yes, thank you. I know it's not working. Hopefully franchise mode will work 
next time. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. You know the drill. If you did like it, you could do all the things. Follow me on social media. And yeah, I will see you next time. And hopefully franchise mode is working a little bit better by then. <laughs> Bye.